It's time to go inside innovation, brought to you by Allegiant, pioneering safety. Well, Indianapolis-based K-Launch is helping a wide range of organizations like Gleaners Food Bank communicate with the people they serve. Since the pandemic began, K-Launch says it has helped Gleaners serve more than one million meals. To find out how, please to welcome to the show co-founder and CEO Josh Ross. With more, and Josh, welcome to the program. Thank you for having me. Uh, K-Launch, uh, a unit, a division, if you will, of Carano. Give us the kind of the, the model, the business model. Yeah, so Carano is the holdings company, K-Launch independent company beneath that. But the K-Launch model is about experiential messaging, delivering experiential messaging to consumers mm -hmm. in a managed format. So we manage all the content for our customers. We curate all the messaging and deliver that to them in a turnkey experience. Yeah, and, and, and you're talking specifically, too, about text messaging, right? Why, right. in your view, is that a powerful tool? Because you've uh, really uh, been able to see some growth from that. It's a laser shot connection to folks' personal device, and uh, we can build empathy and rapport through these types of, of connections. And so, um, you know, the, the data around text messaging in general, 99% open rates, it's, uh, it's, it's just super powerful in the way that you can connect with consumers. Your customer list uh, is, is diverse. I know you do business with the Colts, with the Indianapolis 500, uh, Gleaners. And I think that's an interesting and maybe a great example to talk about a partnership that you developed with Gleaners Food Bank that really was not growth of the pandemic. Yeah, Gleaners contacted us during the pandemic because they really needed to figure out a way to deliver food and do it effectively. And so uh, we, we spent some time uh, having some conversations around, you know, maybe some call centers or however they could do that to be able to reach these folks. And it really came down to the technology being uh, text and text messaging being able to be delivered. Again, laser shot connection, someone's personal device. A lot of these folks couldn't you know, get out of their homes during the pandemic. So as we as we put this together, we, we uh, orchestrated a, uh, uh, operational campaigns to deliver food uh, to massive amounts of people and fed over a million uh, wow. with, with the platform. That's that's a big number. That's a big number. And again, in your view, it's that it's that personalization, that direct contact attack that you say is, is key. Yeah, and the convenience of, of text, right? So uh, consumers, when they are at home, the ability to, in the case of Gleaners, the ability to send a message back to Gleaners and have a two-way interaction and really open up a dialogue with those consumers so yeah. that they can uh, understand the needs yeah. and uh, address those needs. Yeah, when you talk about text messaging, communication as a, as a, as a platform, is it, is it totally a young person's game? I know you, you, you did a campaign with the Indianapolis 500 as an ex example. Is it, is it just a young person's game? Yeah, we worked through uh, Gainbridge at the 500, but uh, what we found through the demographic information on text is we had the oldest was 92 that wow. uh, messaged in the campaign and the youngest was 20. So it really is a broad spectrum of folks that are using that. And I think the pandemic played into, into the older generation, you know, talking to friends and family via mm -hmm. their uh, text messaging, and, and they started to understand more about how to utilize text. Mm -hmm. And so uh, I think that's going to open up even broader in time. Yeah. Where do you see this going? What's next in your view uh, in the world of text messaging? I think we coined a term called experiential mobile messaging, which experiential messaging is high-res imagery, high-res video inside of a text message. And there's uh, what's called RCS, which is on the horizon. And once the carriers all come together with this RCS mm -hmm. platforms, there, there's going to be a lot more immersive connectivity that's delivered through text. Mm -hmm. And so we are, again, excited about that because once you can put uh, those high-res imagery and video, it, video in, in itself, um, provides a deeper type of engagement. People mm -hmm. typically are watching those videos and engaging more effectively. All right, Josh Ross is the uh, co-founder and CEO at K-Launch, uh, doing some uh, very interesting things and growing uh, as well. Josh, great to have you on the show. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks for having me. Uh,